we've made it to our location. The New Forest in Hampshire, it was our emergency backup location because the Jurassic Coast uh, incident we had. We've got Louis, Leighton, Roxy and... Bruno's back Bruno? here. Bruno. Bruno. We're taking the dogs for a little walk. We're, we've already seen so many horses and we think we're seeing deers, but we're gonna get we're gonna go in adventure and see. We're gonna walk a little bit closer. It was a it was a really smooth drive down here. We're really buzzing. Few days now adventuring. Uh, we've got four days in total. We're gonna do lots of the new forest. We're gonna go to the Jurassic Coast. We're gonna go to different animal sanctuaries. So loads of really cool footage. We're hoping the boys are already just kind of in their element because they're just oh there's Lou, Lou Master doing his like countryside dabbing. Um, so we're really looking forward to this. So first adventure, we're gonna go across into this little little forest right by where we're staying. Been here for couple hours the family they've gone for a swim but I just the second I arrived I was buzzing just to get exploring and there's this little trail sort of runs perpendicular to the railway tracks and there's loads of rabbits and um, horses so we're we're walking that trail um, there's birds it's just everywhere it's just beautiful there's thunder uh, in the distance. We are expecting some serious storms now in the coming days so I'll hopefully get a little bit of footage of that. Just looking at all the little uh, rabbit warrens that I'm coming across here. But it's just lush. It's, it's really... It's a really vast, vast area in the New Forest and it's, it's relatively untouched comparatively to some other areas of the UK particularly. But it's just a great, great place. So we're we've been here for like i said a couple of hours we're doing our initial little uh recce close to where we're staying we we found a beautiful place at such a short short notice everybody's happy so we've got some of amy's family over as well you met the two dogs a little bit earlier uh pops and mimi so mum and dad are over as well and amy's side of the family and uh they're now all catching up in the pool having an ale and uh I'm just wandering across this, this this trail here, seeing what I come across. It's um fantastic landscape. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna come across this tree here. You see the blossom on this tree. Um, you might hear in the distance the rumblings of thunder. I assume that's gonna head in towards us. It was on the weather forecast, so we're not you know too surprised to be seeing this coming in. You got some pink blossom on this tree here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna head this this way over yonder. There's there is like I said, there's a trail that runs runs parallel to the to the train track. So I'm just kind of like roaming a little bit. I'm not going mega far today. It's gonna be a short day one adventure because obviously so much of the journey was uh, so much of the day was taken up with the journey down, which was sort of six hours with a detour and a, and a stop on the way. It's four hours, you know, if you go straight as. Um, but yeah, we're gonna. Uh, we're gonna see what we can find on this on day one. Some more, some more thunder. Um, I'm hoping to to see some bits down here. Let's, let's see what we can find. See what we can find.
that's about it for day one. Like I said, most of today's been taken up with the, the journey down. So I found a little quiet area of this forest, a few little insects and bugs around, a few birds, of course. Explored the direct vicinity to where we're staying. It's been a wonderful early endeavours in the area. There's so much to do, so much to explore. I'm buzzing. And of course, but two days ago, we were we were looking to have to cancel because the place we were going to stay, which is on the Jurassic Coast, wonderful cottage, Dolphin Cottage, um, suffered some damage to the roof. So the owners informed us that we couldn't stay and we had to find alternatives. And we hastily looked around and, and settled on this beautiful place in the New Forest. Close enough to explore lots of really cool stuff. The New Forest is somewhere close to my heart. I grew up, born in Portsmouth, raised early days in Southampton. So this was, you know, my local nature and countryside area. So really, really happy to be back here with the family. They're off in the swimming pool, like I said. We're going to go and have some food now and have some time with the family this afternoon, uh, this evening. It's about sort of six o'clock now. And wanted to just impart how relative adversity can always be turned around. It's never the end of the world when something happens and that's a mindset that we become accustomed to with the society that we're brought up in. And yet something as simple as just finding somewhere in a forest, in nature, can just bring peace to the mind. We are supposed to be around nature. We're supposed to be in the woods, in the forest, walking, adventuring, the hustle bustle of everyday life. Whilst the necessity in the current climate, we need to work, we need to grind, we need to do our day-to-day -day monotonous endeavors to be able to take these moments of absolute bliss. And that's what this is, absolute bliss. It's the end of the first day. We'll see you in the morning. I'm gonna go and enjoy some nice food, an ale with the family and plan what we do tomorrow. Morning. It's the start of day two. We're about to go have some breakfast. It's bright and early. We're going for a little walk, just a, just a little walk through the woods. First thing, freshen up. I have my cold shower. It's my new my new thing. Takes your breath away, but it does make you feel a lot better. Um, so today we are going off to a few cool places. We're going to go two locations today. Weather's looking all right. We didn't get the, the storm we were promised. We did get invaded by donkeys though when we were having our dinner. So some of the footage I got on the uh, on the channel for that. So. Today we're going to go definitely deer hunting. Our mission today is to find some deers. We've, we've, we've looked at the most likely locations to find them. So we're hoping we're going to find some deer. And then um, other places we're going, we're going to see some cool stuff. There's a car museum nearby, so we're going to go to the car museum and go and see some rivers and just see what we can find today. And a, a, a more chilled out day of adventuring before we head off to Jurassic Coast tomorrow. bad boy and it's obviously just so immaculate immaculate condition beautiful what a place
So straight away these bars of chocolate have caught my attention. Just the variety that are here, pretty much anything you can imagine. And look really well presented. For eating this, that's obviously what I'm gonna have. It's difficult you have when you see these sort of things is shopping for four of us, because I know which ones I'd have, but I've also got to think which ones the other guys would enjoy. So we'll we'll spend a bit of time now making a decision here, but uh, there's some that's right away jumping out to me. about halfway through day two in the new forest and it's just been incredible we've seen so much stuff just just driving around the little the little roads into the little villages and the towns even from the moment we got up where we had breakfast went for a little pre-breakfast walk and came across a common lizard which made Leighton's day horses galore super friendly coming up to you hanging out it's been just amazing and we've just adventured all day there's so much we're not even like it's, it's almost overwhelming in the, in the amount of stuff there is, the amount of places you can go, adventures there are to be had. We found this uh, wildlife animal sanctuary where you can roam in amongst all kinds of deer. There's five, six different types of deers here and you just roam in amongst them. They're super like used to humans, they're not running off and you get to, get to uh, I say, you know, just savour them because they're amazing animals. And this, this has just been brilliant. So the day has been incredible. We've just seen so much, we've, we've gone numerous different places we've been to uh Bewley, we've been to lyndhurst and all that i mean we even found a place called like pig bush forest which is just amazing there's animals everywhere absolutely everywhere and they're so the area just is just it's full of natural beauty the walks are amazing so we're going to get some more footage now of a walk because this it's just been a fantastic day just beautiful 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 we've seen so much we've seen you know fancy cars went to the ferrari garage and it's just a really beautiful part of the world because it just, the pace of life here is just, it's just right, you know, it's what we want. You can just enjoy every single element of every day, every minute that goes by. There's always something um, to keep you interested and excited. So we're, uh, we're gonna carry an adventure in about, like I said, about halfway through the day, day two, and now we're gonna go find a forest to walk around and see if we can find some rivers and some, uh, some more wildlife because that's what's yeah. motivating us at the moment is finding the wildlife. So yeah, day two, halfway through, it's just been a ball. It's just been a blast. We're loving it.
wow. <laughs> uh, I hope you weren't expecting some articulate appraisal of just what we've got here. Let's have a, let's have a sit down. Um, basically, the family have gone swimming. They were all walked out. We've walked a serious, we've done some serious mileage today. And I went adventuring about 10 miles away and I found uh, just this incredible place. There's horses everywhere. It's, it's amazing, it's beautiful, beautiful location. We're heading towards a river. That's uh, it's a couple of miles. Oh no, it's about a mile, I think. The, the trail is 1.1 miles, so we're heading towards a river. But there's just horses and fowl uh, and amazing locations as far as the eye can see um, this is incredible and of course the sun is blaring out now this is beautiful i've loaded up my trusty rucksack with loads of water some protein bars and we're just going to see how far we can adventure down these trails uh, it's it's looking pretty beautiful it arcs um, there's a closed bridge down here now i'm hoping i can still access the river from this point there was a forestry notice saying that the bridge is closed but i don't quite know in what context i'm assuming it's vehicular access we'll see we'll see we're gonna we're gonna take this trail we're gonna see where it goes we're just gonna head head towards the woods like i don't know this area at all um there's different routes that go off in different directions there's sort of like my, my hat or shave my hair special special occasion trim the beard and uh, yeah let's head let's head that way So that's us signing off for day two. It's been just incredible. Every single element of today has just been perfection. What a location. So many animals, so much nature, so much uh, just joy around everybody we met and saw. 
We're signing off for day two. It's been a blast. Day two's been focusing on exploring the new forest and the locations and trying to find as many animals as we can. And tomorrow we're going to go a little bit further afield because as you probably know, this was supposed to be a Jurassic Coast adventure, which we tweaked due to adversity, relative adversity as I keep saying. So tomorrow we're going to go, we're going to head off to the coast. We're going to try and see what locations around the Jurassic Coast appeal to us. It's going to be a very different day to today where we've been in forests and around rivers and a different type of nature. We're going to be much more around the coast. We're going to see if we can do some crab crab hunting, see some crabs. Uh, we're going to obviously go on the beach, experience a bit of... Uh, hopefully the weather holds. The, the, the rumoured storms. The rumoured storms. The, uh, are they going to come tomorrow? Have we just avoided them? Other parts of the UK are getting bathed in rain and lightning and we're getting bathed in glorious sunshine at the moment so let's go day two's over we're gonna go now chill we're gonna have an ale in the beer garden and spend some time just with the family no videos and uh prep ready for day three so thank you Bloody hell, I don't think I've ever quite seen uh, views from a cliff top at a seaside like this. It's just incredible. You can see why it's so sought out by so many people, loads of people about it. Everyone seems to be really enjoying it. So yeah, let's go and uh, get a bit further down. It was amazing, amazing. Sea was cold, but the, the, it's a scorcher of a day. Tons of people, really busy, and just incredible views and a great place. Highly recommend it if you're near this area.
final walk of day three as has been the routine in this journey so far and this adventure uh, the rest of the family are in the swimming pool and Kev goes to find another adventure because there's so many in this area we've come to pig bush forest I think it was called pig bush wood pig bush forest either works for me there's just just every direction there's just there's trails going off everywhere i could i could spend hours here just exploring just another small area of the new forest that just just takes your breath away there's there's birds horses horses the signature animal of of this area are just just incredible there there's something about them something very uh noble about a horse there's there's just so much going on so this, this walk now we're going to do is the, the end of the day it's the end of day three or the, the, the final few bits of day three we're going to do this walk we're going to get some footage from in, inside this forest here going to venturing the sun is starting i don't say starting to set but it's dusk is approaching we don't i mean there's loads of really cool structures i don't know if you can see them in in through these woods here where people obviously come here and adventure and build little forts and dens and all that kind of cool stuff. We're just going to adventure now for for a few minutes. I've got a couple hours spare, so we're going to see where it takes us. So, start of day four, we've got one more adventure to go before we get home and we're really excited. We're going to leave the beautiful, beautiful roaming wild horses and new, new forest behind us and going to head back home via a pretty special location. So I've gone exploring down, down this trail potentially to, to see Stonehenge from a different perspective, different angle, a, non, a little bit less touristy kind of view stance. We shall see, I'm hoping it's not too far. We left 
the others in the car. I'm just going exploring because I don't want them to wander down here and be really disappointed. So I'm going to go walking, look, explore. They're chilling out, having a little picnic. And we'll see what we can find down here. See if we can see Stonehenge. Pretty excited. Feel uh, literally get like butterflies. So we'll see where we end up. Yes, yeah, pretty bonkers. This is just what you want because I'm coming down this trail now, probably you know, half a mile in the distance. We can see Stonehenge just on the top of the the fields. It's just oh, what a place. I mean, this is beautiful anyway. You know, middle of the countryside here, and me personally, not liking the hustle bustle of uh, literally tens of thousands of people. This is definitely the way I want to experience Stonehenge. So yes, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm not going to spin the camera around just yet. There's a few people in front of me that I obviously not sure they've been comfortable on camera. When I get to the top of this trail, I'll spin it around and we'll show you a little bit of Stonehenge. But yeah, amazing, amazing little uh, extra adventure on the way home. Um, I'm going to flip it around this direction though, because it's a beautiful field and scenery. As you can see, it's a beautiful part of the world. And again, we've got another beautiful day. So this is really nice. So here we go. The family's with us now. They got excited. And just, we can see it, I don't know if it's shown on the camera, but there's Stonehenge in the distance. We're going to go up over this trail and then across the field for what another walk has just described as the authentic view of, of Stonehenge. Uh, he also informed us that they are now um, kicking off all the new age travellers that come to this area to celebrate the summer equinox, which obviously uh, have mixed views on that. But there's, there's lots of celebrations through the year and it's an iconic place where people come to to celebrate various iconic days in religion and spiritual lives that people lead. So we're, we're getting towards it now. So we'll show some more footage as we get a bit closer. <laughs> Are you excited, Lou? Yeah. We're going to go up to Stonehenge. We're going across this field. As you can see, it's just field and then that side there. Yeah, I think you can see all the buses and they all come down that trail there towards. So it's like a park and ride. You park, what is it, about like a mile down that trail and you get the buses up and you can just see the queues of people. And yet here we are, me and Lou Meister General, walking across this field straight to Stonehenge. Incredible, incredible. Uh, I don't really know what more to say, Lou, on this other than this is like one of the biggest wonders in the world. <laughs> and we're just able to just kind of wander up to it. Oh, bless. You still, I, just, I love that. I love that. It's something as significant as Stonehenge, 100 yards away, and it's the butterflies that my man is still impressed by. But you can see, you can see the queues, 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 queues all the way back there. And yet. Yeah, we're going to be here now from this uh, alternative route. We're pretty buzzing. It's been a bit of a trail. It was a bit of a walk. I'm not going to deny that. Louis stuck it out with me all the way. And then we're going to... Uh... Just want to see that stone Yeah, that's it, bro. Here we go. We're coming up over the last... How good is this? <laughs> it's mad, isn't it, mate? The last little bit of this, uh, this hill. Bit of an incline. And then there it is. One of the wonders of the world.